This is Gustav. And that's Tom. And we're Goodbye Motel. And you're watching the AU Review. Can you talk a little bit about what you've been up to since we last spoke at our CMJ? Well, CMJ, we... Uh, it's the second time we've done that, which we love doing. Um, I think when we spoke last was about six, seven months ago or something like that. So we were finishing up making our um, soon to be released album um, which we're sort of still working on and uh, we were touring the EP which was going really well and we were about to sort of uh, finishing up that and coming home to Australia for a little bit to, to start playing uh, and touring here with the EP which is good it's good to be home can you tell us a little bit more about the EP what can we expect from it and uh, we just heard some a bit of music from it well, the current EP um, assembles. It's four tracks that we've recorded all ourselves down at Anglesey, just on the on the coast here in Australia. Um, and then we've just it's all it's all self-made, and it's been uh, a pleasure putting it together. And it recently got picked up by Kraza, where we got our latest single set it off on a Kraza ad, which has been going around Australia and New Zealand uh, over the last couple of weeks and months. Um, so that's been amazing in terms of exposure and yeah, now it's now it's just about touring and trying to make the most of it. Yeah, it's interesting the way we made it too because we basically just took a, uh, a friend's place down there um, that's right on the ocean down there and they let us have it for a couple of weeks and we just pulled out all the furniture of the top level and um, sort of did a makeshift recording studio for uh, a couple of weeks and did nothing but sort of eat, swim, drink, and write music um, so that was a really different way for us to do it it was just sort of just going to be demos and things like that but we liked what we did and what we got so um, we just thought it was a really good idea to put it out so that was very different to how we did the album but um, we're really happy with it so it's good it's good can you talk a little bit about the album what can we say about the album well I think on that the, the guy we had producing it going from producing something ourselves to having a guy like Kevin Killen, um, who we didn't know before this, but we knew of him. Um, he's produced uh, U2, um, who else? Peter Gabriel. Tori Amos. Yeah. So a lot of he's, he's been around and done some great things. So um, that was the big thing, to, to do a, an album with a reasonable budget, you know, in a foreign land. We completely like different that. experience yeah and you want it as well very enlightening and a lot to learn from it but yeah so they're very different entities the album and the ep but both a lot of fun yeah so yeah. and from memory didn't you do like a 3d show or something like that over in uh, the u.s we did we um we launched it in the u.s when we did cmj when we talked to you last and um we did it at the rock shop in brooklyn which was a a great success for us and and it felt great to um, finally show that in the US and share that with everyone put a lot of time and work into making that show happen and it was uh, it was great it was amazing to get yeah. it get it it's a weird concept there. we even did it in a um, in an art gallery space too um, which was sort of free and everyone walking past we got friends to hand out the old th old school 3d red and blue glasses and um, there's all these different screens and projectors we use to um, you know get all the 3d imagery up that we're playing to and um, so it was something really different for people to have I think it went really well but can't wait to do more of them we can't do it every show we do um, but um, every now and then we'll pull it out of the bag and set it A up gem. yeah what shows have you got coming up Currently playing uh, our residency down at the uh, Esplanade Hotel at the SP Front Bar, playing every Wednesday night for the next couple of weeks in May. Um, and then from there, um, we have a, a few shows that we're yet to announce, but a couple of good ones coming up. Yeah. Just before we head back to the States in sort of mid to late June. So we're going back for a nice big sort of, I guess, trip to... Um, two of the EP there, uh, we've got a, on college radio a fair bit over there which is good so we'll do that little circuit and then um, hopefully start releasing stuff off the new album. Um, so that should take six to twelve months I suppose to do all of that and then we're off to Japan in September which we've never been to so that'll be good fun. Big few months ahead. Yeah. Mm. You're looking forward to it? Yeah, can't wait. A lot of fun. Very cool.
keeps you busy. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's really good playing at the SB Front Bar. We really love playing there, and it's been a venue that's always sort of supported what what we're doing, and um, that's why we're happy to do free shows there on the Wednesdays, as Gustav have said. So, and it's really good to, for us to get in contact with people and yeah. meet new new friendly faces coming yeah. up. It's good.